Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing today? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday to everyone of you guys. As they call it, hump day. Happy Wednesday. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Gregory Wilds coming live to you from Houston, Texas with his inspirational morning walk, with his inspirational morning walk just getting my exercise in and just sharing some thoughts giving you some words of inspiration to get your day started good morning good morning jillian good morning how are you today how are you today thanks for watching jillian thanks for watching yes we got great weather here this is the best type of weather here in texas man especially in houston i can't speak for all of texas because we're so big here some parts of us get serious snow which other parts are just hot so but in houston texas especially the weather here is usually great this time of the year fall time you don't have to deal with the all the heat and then it's not too cold we don't get as cold every day so you're in the nice 60s right now you know so that's great great weather you can really enjoy the outdoors this time of year so i'm take full advantage of it and get all my walking in and start my day right man but good morning good morning good morning tessa good morning how are you today hope you had a great holiday there on monday hope you guys had a good time yes guys so this is gregory walls Live in Houston, Texas, inspirational morning walk. First time listeners, I just get some exercise in the morning and I just drop some word of inspiration with you. Just remember the YouTube is there. Go back and see what you miss. There's a lot of good stuff we did. Something that's gonna bless you there. You gotta find something there. We covered so much of topics. So good morning again, guys, good morning. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it today. I'm going to get right into it. So last, um, on Monday, we spoke about the law of expectation, right? Positioning yourself to receive something when you ask for it, right? The law of expectation. And I want to follow up on that because I want to make sure it's clear, right? I want to make sure I did do a good job and, and cover. I know we talk about asking, seeking, and finding that um, scripture about that. But I want to make sure I'm clear and, um, and follow up on that, right? I want to talk about doing your part, doing your part. We have to do our part or take action, right? Take action. We got to take action. We got to do our part. It's okay to pray and ask God for something and position yourself to receive. Good morning, Renita. Good morning. And it's okay to ask for something and, and you know, I'm prepared to receive it. But then you got to do your part, right? You got to do your part. You just can't ask and just sit back and do nothing, right? So I just want to make sure it was clear. I want to follow up on that. And we talk about that today, doing your part, right? So let's look at some quick quotes or take action. You got to take action. Anything you want, you got to take action on it, right? So let's look at a few little quotes here. They say, you will never get ahead until you start advancing. That's by Robert Schuller. Robert Schuller. You will never get ahead until you start advancing, right? And it said, you, and the next one said, you will learn and grow according to the consequences of your actions. You will learn and grow according to the consequences of your actions. That's by Robert Anthony. And the next one here says, both tears and sweat are salty, but they render different results. Tears will get you sympathy, but sweat will get you change, right? It said, both tears and sweat are salty, but they render a different result. Tears will get you sympathy, sweat will get you change. That's by Jesse Jackson, by Jesse Jackson, right? So are you one of those people who have a million ideas in your head? great ideas some of them are really good but you're never acting on any of them you're not acting on any of them you have a lot of ideas and you might be the one person that might give someone else some great ideas and tips about doing certain things and they go and act on it and become successful and you still sit in there and you got a lot of ideas in your head and you not acting on any of them that's what we want to talk about you have to do your part right you have to do your part you have to act on something and quickly about ideas just want to share this tip quickly while i learned from the late great um 
Nightingale, Earl Nightingale and Napoleon Hill and them great guys who are talking about success, right? Them guys saying, you know, you might pray to God for ideas of, about doing something. And that during, throughout the day, early in the morning, whatever time, you might just get this little flash of inspiration coming ahead, a little thought coming ahead. What are those guys saying? Write it down right away. Write it down right away. I have a habit right now of just picking up my phone and just speak. I'm just turning on the, the camera and just speaking into it. Whatever little thought, whatever little idea, whatever little inspiration come to me throughout the day. Because within two, three minutes, you'll forget it. And that one of those things there, one of those ideas is, is what you need to get you to the next level, right? It just come with a little flash. And that's what those great guys says. A lot of the great things that happen is just a little flash of inspiration coming your head, but you got to capture it right away. You got to capture it, right? And our like Tingay was talking about when you wake up in the morning. I think it's the one that he did about um, the greatest, what it is, the greatest secret in life or something like that. To try and remember, I really listened to so much of his material. Um, but anyhow, he talk about waking up in the morning, writing down ideas, don't matter how crazy it's sung, write them down, write them down, and then you put them all together and then you start eliminating. And the thing that you need to do to make you successful is in one of those little ideas there. It just take one of those ideas. But anyhow, Marcy Walls, good. How are you doing? Lurleen Belgrave, Keith Tellman, good morning, guys, good morning. <clears throat> so, so you got to do your part, right? You got to do your part. You're praying and asking for something. You got to do your part. Don't be like this guy. This guy who was failing some hard times and he was asking God, God, just could you bless me with a job? Bless me with a job. And then after, you know, the first month, he get optimistic that things his life will change, right? And then he go on, but for a year and he didn't get anything. So he get frustrated. He said, God, God, are you there? Are you even hearing me? God say yes, yes. So suddenly a cloud appeared across the sky and lightning flash and a voice boomed from the heavens. He said, I hear you, I hear you. In fact, I heard your every prayer. But he said, give me a break. The least you can do is apply for a job, man. That's the least you can do. I do my part, I line up things for you. I got a lot of things out there lined up for you. But you at least got to apply for the job, man. The next one was asking God to bless him with the wind the lotto to get a quick turnaround in his life and the same theory and nothing happened. And God said, man, at least you got to buy a lotto ticket. The least you can do your part and buy the ticket and then I can bless your numbers. But you got to do something, man. You just can't come to me and expect me to do everything, right? So I want to say we got to do our part. We got to do our part when we pray in an accident. We got to get up. You cannot get to the finish line if you never start the race. You cannot get to the finish line if you never start the race. Because hear what he said in Proverbs 16.3. In Proverbs 16.3, he said, Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. So you got to bring something to him to bless, right? You got to bring something to him to bless. He talks in Lord to bless your job, or bless your business to grow, and you don't have a business, right? Right? You got to bring something to him and say, hey, God, this is my thing. Put it up to him first and ask him what he want, what he want you to do. And then you, you start working on it. And then he's going to bless it. Remember, he put people in your way to bless us, right? He put people in our way to bless us. He's not going to do it from up there. He lined up your destiny helpers. But you first got to start. And I heard Joel Olstein talk, say this thing in one of his sermons. He said, um, you might want to do something. Let's say you want to meet the president, right? You might be surprised that there's someone right in your circle that you talking to right now have the connection to get you to meet whoever you want to meet, how great that person might be, right? Right in your circle right now you talking to, you know what, I want to meet this person, or you know what, oh, I went to school with his nephew, oh, my son went to school with his sister, oh, his, his aunt come to our church, let me see if I can get you a connection, but it's not a conversation come up every day. But when you're trying to do something, you might be surprised. Like he was saying, he was trying to get on to when he published his first book. And he was trying to meet this, um, this publisher. This guy he know, this is the guy you are going to get his book out there. God, this guy support the type of, um, you know, the work that he doing. And, you know, this is the right guy you need to get on. So he said, you waited for five years, you try and try. And one day a guy from his congregation just come in his office and they were talking. And, you know, and he get talking about his book and he trying to meet this guy. He said, wait, let's say the guy named John. Wait, you're trying to meet John? Okay, hold on, hold on. 
guy pick up his phone and call, hey, John, how are you doing, man? How's the kids? Everything going well? Hey, I got Mr. Olsen here trying to get his book published and he's trying to meet you. You know, when can we meet? He said, and just like that, he was in the guy's living room about a week after that, having dinner with him, presenting his ideas, right? So, well, you got to get up and start and do something. And then he can line up the people in your path, the destiny helpers that we talk about to bless you, right? So let's look at some scriptures here, what he said. In James 1, 23 through 25, right? James 1, 23 through 25, he said, for, for if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man who looks intently as his natural, at his natural face in the mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forget what he was like. But the one who looks into, into the perfect law, the law of liberty and preserves, and preserves being no hero who, for, who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will, he, will, he will be blessing in his doing. I gotta read the over. Didn't do such a good job reading it, right? But he's saying you can't be a doer. Let's go on to James 2 4, right? Faith without good deeds is dead, right? He said, What good it is, what good it is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but don't show it by your actions, can that kind of faith save anyone? So he's saying, just don't be a hearer of the word. Just don't be a hearer of the word. You got to go and do after you hear, right? How much um, of these little talks we did, and some of them really touch you. Some of them really touch you. Some of them feel like I'm speaking to you, but you never go out and act on it and make the change you need to make, right? So he's saying, you got to do your part. I'm going to do my part, but you got to do your part. You got to do your part. You got to get up and do something, right? You got to get up and do something. Don't just sit back and wait for me to do everything for you. You got to get up and you got to do your part. I'm going to do my part, but you got to do your part. Don't just get all these great ideas in your head and never acted on them, right? Some of us want to do a lot of things and we just, and this little vice in our head just say, okay, you can do it tomorrow, you can do it next week. You know, you can do it when the time is right. You know, you need more time, you need more money, you need more weight, you need to lose a weight, you need to gain some weight, you need to get into the right place, you need to meet the right people. But if you never go to try to meet the right people, try to lose the weight, try to gain the weight, try to do whatever you need to do before you can start, you're never started. You're never started. In the words like Nike, just do it. Just do it, right? So remember, when you're praying for something, whatever you're praying for, you got to do your part, right? You got to do your part, right? As people that say, you take one step and then God take two. But you got to get up and you got to do your part. I'm not going to go on too long, guys. But just um, keep the slogan in the word like Nike, just do it, just do it, man. I can remember when God put it on my heart to do this, I was making the same kind of excuses. I gotta get the right setting, I gotta get the right background, I gotta get this, I gotta get that. And I trying to make and two, three weeks going on, he said, hey, 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 and one day I was walking, this is how this um, thing started up. One day I was just walking, doing exercises, and he said, look, turn your camera on right now and go live. And, 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 and tell the people what I bless you with. He said, turn it on right now. You know what? And I did. And I did. And I was in the same boat, making those excuses, waiting for the perfect opportunity. So I'm telling you right now, just do it. Start it today. Start today. Do your part. You're praying to him. He line up things for you. Start today, guys. So have a great day. Just go out there and do it. Talk to you guys on Friday. Okay, bye.